Although the Khitan still demand periodic tributes, we have pushed them back to the Yellow River. Fortunately, their occupation of Kaifeng was not destructive, and the city has already recovered. Having reviewed the results of the most recent examinations, the Emperor has chosen you to oversee the future development of Kaifeng. He expects it to soon become a cultural center unsurpassed in the world. Return to the classical teachings of Confucius and ensure that all learned people study his ways. Respect to the animals of the land. The emperor has set aside his own palace grounds as a park for creatures from all over China. Fill the park with at least six exotic species. In science and technology, our achievements grow more impressive each day. Our emperor's collection of scholarly books and encyclopedias includes 80,000 volumes. Wonderful devices such as the compass, abacus, and spinning wheel can be found all over our city. Su Song has drawn up amazing plans for an astronomical clock tower. Please help him achieve his goal. Finally, a new threat, the Sha Sha Empire is rising in the West. Our continued policy of appeasement of our enemies with the riches of our land should keep them at bay as it has the Khitan. Good luck, wise governor. You are presiding over the greatest city in the world, unsurpassed in its culture. Do not disappoint the emperor. All right, welcome back to Emperor. We are going back to a city we began building in the beginning of this dynasty. We're about halfway through the final dynasty of this game. So let's go to the city and see where we left off. As he said in the intro, the city was um, occupied by the Kitan, but it seems like everything is still like we left it behind, even our huge military with loads of weapons to build up this military. I think somewhere, yes, our troops are still returning from conquering a city. Furthermore, these um, luxury houses here will evolve because they already have everything they need. They have tea, they have everything. So that's also taken care of, which means that one of the goals will immediately be fulfilled. And we must build this clock tower, build a big population, I think one of the largest of the entire campaign, and the animal goal we can do on the side. So I was already looking at the map a little bit beforehand and noticed that we will definitely need another housing block because this one has fully evolved and gave us two and a half thousand people. So that means we pretty much need another housing block with this amount of houses to fulfill our population goal. And the only rocks we have left on this part of the map is here. So we kind of have to squeeze another housing block in this area here and we will see after we start building up where we could put this clock tower monument it's not too big it's just um we will see where it fits we could of course put it inside this fortress here but maybe we can put it between our housing blocks and that will look amazing we will see now if we look at the map we will of course use some of our money to immediately sabotage our military threats with two spies per um, empire, let's say. Just so hopefully they do not invade, even though we have many shields, so that should not be a problem. Um, what is this doing? Chengdu. Um, not quite sure why we are not trading with Chengdu, so they're agreeable, so let's send a diplomatic request. We remember that's the city we just came from, and we were kind of sabotaging ourselves, it seems like. Um, and Guangzhou will also send a diplomatic request and see if they are inter interested in trading with us. And how are our workers? 12 workers needed. So there's still some people moving in. So I think we'll just let the game run. 
and then we'll see what we can do until we have some more unemployment so that we can increase um, our population with a new block but of course that will need some more population what i want to do is here we will put those two lacquerware makers on this side and make some space here because i have a plan we will also move those two health buildings so the herbalist can go here and the acupuncturist can go there and then we just roadblock this so he spawns on the correct side that's uh, looking good as you can see these houses are evolving let's quickly check here this is probably they should also get some tea um, four and not really accept lacquer anymore because we don't have the vassal that gives us the lacquer i think now what else did i want to do this here i think they don't exist anymore so actually we can let this empty out and then we'll have to reorganize this a little bit so yes like that and Chengdu we just sent a request I think when they come back online let's say we can buy lacquer tea and salt from them like that then we will see what we can do what do we have Jiangling, let's quickly check. They sell salt, tea, hemp, and wood. I think we will trade with them because we will need some wood because we cannot produce wood ourselves. Now, we will try to reposition our palace by putting this in between here. We need to move around our theater pavilion Huangdi is here very good like that spy reversed Chengdu is spying on us um, we are already spying on them but just because they um, spy on us and we get a free spy why not um, our spies yes they're still leaving the city it's good beginning of course this uh will be a little bit uh, a reorganization mission before we proceed with our goals now these guys here we should see that they stop marching because of course else they will get demoralized um also very important where are you going guys stop marching this guy here stop marching now let's quickly check if that everyone is going home yes good here um we will oh we have run out of food actually so in the meantime you can just um, bean curd get yes cabbage milled wheat yes um hopefully this will not devolve we should be importing some steel and here actually we can decrease this because yes that's good lin ah uh, not interesting i think guangzhou will be a valuable trade route later we can see 
Hopefully, actually maybe we will get some rice. So hopefully that doesn't devolve. Changdu opens up, Guangzhou opens up, that's good. So this trade route is reactivated and we can open trade with Guangzhou. Now to do that, I like to do that here because we're producing quite a lot of silk. But this here needs to move a little bit. Of course, I already measured this beforehand, so you don't have to watch me like fondle around with this. So here we will do irrigation ditch, and then we can do like that with a pump, irrigation pump, and then put roads like that. And of course, we will also need a road like this. The inspector will still cover this. And we will sell some silk. We could also carve some shade, I think, but for the moment, it should be fine. Just any silk that doesn't go here can go into here and we should make some more money. Now that's all looking good. Now we don't have an administrative city, which I think is not great. Could of course put it here, but it doesn't look so nice. Question is, where can we put it? I think for the moment, just because we want one to tax our people, we're going to put it here and then later we can always reposition it. Um, this here we have 900 wood, which actually I think we could invest in some crossbowmen. So let's put down two forts and do that. Um, workers, yes. So we have definitely no problem. Yes, they are grabbing some rice. And then we can delete this because there's no use anymore. Then as soon as another trade route opens, we can do that. Now, quickly, yes, we still have that. Um, Shenong is angry, so that's not so good. I think we can give him some ceramics. Of course, took it from here. So fine, I guess. Everything has evolved, so yes, this already perfect. Now, we don't have animals on this map, I think. So we must either wait for the year of the rat to get a special gift. And I'm pretty sure we just missed it. I think year of the rat is the one before of the ox, if I'm not mistaken. So the other um, thing is, can we actually Lin under agreeable. Can we request? No, they are not too cooperative. Does that mean? Yes, ping you. Let's request an animal. Jiangling. We can also request an animal. Hopefully that works. And hopefully they don't get mad at us for doing so. I don't think they will. So housing for zero people, that means we should probably work on a new housing block. Now this here, 
Yes, they still have food. So that should be fine. Yes, okay. First thing dealt with, I think here. Yes, beautiful, look at that. Beautiful Tai Chi Park there. Just gotta make sure we keep a way into our city. I think just to make sure we don't accidentally block the way, we can open this here and just put in a, a gate so people can always come in into our city. Now, let's quickly check. What is this? Departure time is oh. always exciting. I only hope to return with my head on my shoulders. Yes. Um, that's good. So let's see what we can do for housing block. Like to build a housing block here. Um, we can come out like this. So, if we build out here, can we build a market square? We can. And I think we must do it like this. And then that could be our housing area, I think. Just have to think. Yeah, I, sh I think it should work. The question is if we come out like this, we have enough space. Yes, we do. And I think it will be cool to also have a Buddhist pagoda, which also fits in perfectly. So that should actually work. And then let's quickly check. Oh, that's actually that will work. That will work. So like that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We try to do the lot like the largest block we possibly can. Like that then on this side we were using the red wall so let's use the red wall here as well open this for market employees and building inspectors we will come from this rock to cover the market square and then we will do a grand way like this. this. Should be fine. And then gardens like that. And then let's see for our essentials. So we can put down the inspector's tower like this well like this watchtower like this herbalist I think can go here acupuncturist can go here then some religion does shrine can we put in both if we put in the Buddhist pagoda can we put in the Taoist shrine somewhere? No. So actually, once we evolve this, we can put it instead of the... Uh, what is it? Watchtower. And this ancestral shrine can go there. And hopefully we can put in a tax office there. Yes, we do have a money printer, and did we already put down the money printer? Is the 
question. Don't think we did. I keep forgetting that that is a thing. Money printer could actually go here. I think there's no reason why it shouldn't. So let's put it there. And we can put in some houses to start like that. And then we will see how many people that gives us. Very good. Now, of course, we will also have to put down some infrastructure to take care of this block. Now, if we put that down like that, I hope that can reach this market square, but I think they can. And then uh, warehouse and go there. Question is, can we put kilns? I think we need to go a little bit closer like that. Yes, that will work fine. So let's put down a warehouse very close to the market. Let's also put down a mill close to the market. And for the moment, not accept anything, not accept anything. We'll figure that out later. We will need some ceramics like that. We will need some paper like that and hemp will produce over here food will produce over here that should be fine i think we can get some salt already four units the rest we will provide on this side anything else i think we have Seems like actually we can probably delete throughout. Yes, this is going to be a huge hit on our workers. Let's just make sure. Actually, government, I want on um how can we do this? Actually, let's do that. This government must stay employed. It's very important because we will be collecting animals and if these animals, um, or if the palace is not employed anymore, we might be in trouble because the animals can get away. And of course, we don't want that. So this is looking okay. Now we will, as I mentioned, want some agriculture on this side because we want to produce some food. So let's rope lock this and I will produce some food so one two three one, two. must be careful a little bit because we're close to the edge of the map so actually let's see this should be fine we will do that Roblox and hemp. Like that. And we will put down the fields. Like that and then do farm that produces all three types. Of food. Um, yes. What is this? Wait, actually, then we need cabbage. And then irrigate the whole thing. Actually, do this like that. Put an irrigation ditch. Like 
like that. And this should work. Let's quickly watch this for a second and see what happens. Uh, of course, I should unpause this. This guy... Um, now I didn't pay attention to what I actually wanted to pay attention to. Um, has Pignon Grand's Facet, very nice. Uh, hazards. And let's quickly check if this guy reaches all the way to the end. And then... Uh, once we are sure that this market doesn't collapse, we will set up the shops already. And then, of course, this warehouse also needs to be set up. Uh, another pheasant, okay, thank you, I guess. Yes, perfect. Very close, but it's fine. So let's do accept some hemp. Accept some ceramics and get some tea, and that should be fine. People are moving in. Very good. As soon as we have, um, Changling actually did want to set up to import wood i think because wood we don't really have so let's import 12 wood and actually no tea we actually don't need to import from there i think this Our city's glory burns brighter than the new year's fireworks it's good um what happened here no foods that should sort itself out any second we have Plenty of food on this side. Mostly wheat, it seems like, but that's fine. Uh, this here is coming along nicely. Um, we don't actually need to accept lacquer there. Um, this should actually instead get more wood. And are we still getting steel? Yes. Very good. So everything set up correctly this has revolved yes this mill should accept wheat um, millet cabbage and it's getting salt so this will just wait feed, to feed uh, with feeding this block for one year so until we have all the resources so we can immediately evolve the whole thing at once. we we'll get all the workers we need and then we can start building our monument, which... Let's see... Doesn't quite fit... Could go here. Question is, will that look good? I'm a little bit afraid, actually, if there's a flood, which rem reminds me... Yes, this probably... Let's give them some lacquer. Because we still have... Some lacquer over here. Let's not celebrate... Until we've stabilized this here. Yes, this producing lacquer where? Um, yes, yes, yes. People are moving out because no food. There is food, so it shouldn't be a problem here. Bean curd is imported here. We're accepting everything. This should actually not get rice anymore. Except we can get some salt as well if we need to and actually import well salt so everyone can get some salt if they 
neat. It's good. People are still moving in. 250 people from that alone. So I think probably this should work. Um, can we put in some gardens here? I wish this fountain could evolve. Maybe we'll actually put the fountain here. Actually, we could maybe put it there. Does it evolve? Yes. So let's put something there. That'll look nice. Good. Now, this is Spy. Saw him on the map. So wood is coming over there. Yes, still some people moving in and out. We're still stabilizing. Luckily, we left the city, if you remember, with almost no money. But luckily, the Kitan, before they left, left us with some money. So now here, ceramics are coming in. And also hemp, yes, should be produced. So as soon as we have hemp, we can feed our people. And plenty of... People should be moving in. I think I shall build a monument inside this fortress after all because yeah it's just no other space I think is up here. I don't want it to get flooded in case. Actually I mean if there's a flood we were a little bit screwed anyways because oh, this whole entire housing block will drown so let's Immediately give a gift to Shenong. Hopefully, of course it had to take it from there. It's quite annoying, but that's yeah, not much we can do about that. It's random, I think. I, I haven't found out how it chooses where it wants to take from. So just have to deal with it, I guess. And everything else is looking fine. What we think, what I think we can do is send off some gifts. The Our Empire accept my pheasants while Guangzhou can also accept, no, not Guangzhou, my pheasant, and we can. Maybe get some animals in, in the meantime. We do have three types of food, but I don't think it's enough to, to stock up. Our admin city is sending out our emissary from there. That's fine. Just a spy. It's good to always look around your city. A little bit just to make sure um, or like to catch some spice more food is coming in hemp will be harvested soon here we do have a stable three types now which is right haven't sold that much silk Actually, maybe we can even put down one more weaver. No, we can't. Okay. Money is of no issue anyway. So. Here, our military is looking very nice. And actually, depending on how much or how many workers we need to get like we will need a thousand people well actually not true we will need another two thousand people so hopefully this amount of houses is enough that means we could put the administrative city on this side uh, now here we don't have that much paper it seems like so 
Liao Empire, thanks for the gift. Let's put down another paper maker here. We just make need to make sure we can actually get out of here. So we can actually do something like this and then here put in another ah no that's not what I wanted. Here we'll put another gate for people to get through so that we can put in some gardens. Just not to block anyway and people have to walk ridiculous amounts in between the housing blocks now how many workers 150 what still not great so we'll still wait and um, let's quickly see i think stone we can import here yes because we will also need some stone for our monument Gods, let's quickly check on the gods. They're all contented, which is fine. You can see that's the what I mean, like people can get in here. Food here, I think as soon as this is harvested. Yes, we can feed and evolve this block so let's put in one food shop at least appetizing foods hemp oh actually oh that's not good this should be getting eight because else they will get ceramics from here um ceramic shop and tea shop Yes, this should just have ceramics. Why do they get from there? It makes no sense. We have so many ceramics on this side. Maybe... Oh, it should be fine. Actually, what we also need on this side is some entertainment. Um... Let's see, acrobats can go there. Uh, wild pig, very good. Acrobats can go here. Music, how about this? Yes. Hundred seventy two works needed. This is evolving and will evolve as soon as music is there and let's give some stuff on the no idea where this silk was taken but i guess it's fine food is looking very nice here uh, happy new year rear of the rabbit no thank you and we did get what did we get a wild pig. So actually the wild pig can go to the Xia Xia Empire. And also while we are here, let's send off some spies. They're displeased. I don't think they will dare invading us considering um, considering we are way stronger than them. Some more ceramics should be produced there. Just make sure. Yes, everything should be fine. I hope one uh, house, uh, one farm here is enough for this housing area. What do they need? Nothing. They will fully evolve one of these here. Let's also give a gift to Shenong.
This actually does not need more wood. So let's just accept that. And... Do like this, because we will also need some wood for our Aye. monument, I which of floor. course... I'd better hide and quickly. Ceramics are a little bit slow on this side. I wonder if we delete this here. Would we put in more kilns? Not really. Okay. It's fine. I think it should be fine. This here, yes. Also a good wood we're buying. No problem. How is taxes? Yes, we make 20,000 a year. I'm not overly concerned with anything. Tea. We're buying 12. Okay, actually, I think tea we should maybe get in a little bit more. Just to make sure we have a steady supply. Weapons we are still producing. And 21 workers needed. That means we can't start working. Um, what did I say? Oh, sorely need. And actually, what happened? Oh, actually, Yao Empire is not interested in our gift, so whatever. So here, we will put in our monument. Like that. And they need goods. What do they need? Blocks of stone and mason. So, what we will do is, of course, we need good feng shui. Connect up like this. And we can put down a warehouse. Oh, it has to go very close here. And an inspector. Like this, we will roadblock this, and this will need get 12 wood, we'll need some steel, I think 4 should be enough, and we'll get 12 stone. And Masons two. They don't. I uh, mean, they need to be here just because of the feng shui. But the carpenter, they can pretty much just go right here. And this should slowly come together. We will import some stone. We'll also import some more steel. Just to make sure we have all the resources available. Now, this is all evolved. Now, this is a thousand three hundred people. So, this should bring us pretty close to our target. Let's put in some more houses. Born emissary, um, Saga Antelope, thank you very much. Like that, and yes, they will need to walk around. And this can receive some gardens. And a wall, just to make it look nice. Um... And I think we need to do something like this just to make sure we have a way in. And then put in some more gardens. Lovely. Let's save. I know there was an auto save, but. Always good to save a little bit better. 
Um, here, I think, on this side, I will put down some more ceramics production. Just to make sure ceramics don't run out. Like that. Let's loop around. So because ceramics did run out there. And also we will need to dump our workers a little bit. I'd better hide and quickly. Because we will have a lot of unemployment. So yes, this is just waiting for stone. Stone has been imported, so this should slowly come together. We have wood, we have tons of tea. So everything is looking okay. And we can send off a Saiga antelope to Lin An. Liao Empire, maybe they want a wild pig as well. Who knows? And what else can we do? We can, of course, later decorate this. Let's just put down some trees here. Plum. Do that. And maybe some cherry trees as well. Oh no, not that, actually. Because we want to make sure they can actually walk through. That looks quite nice. This here needs ceramics. Yes, ceramics on this side at the moment is a little bit slow. I think just to stabilize everything, we will put in a second food farm on this side as well. Just to make sure we have a steady supply. Wheat, sweet, wheat, millet, 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 and cabbage. Irrigate the whole thing, that works perfectly as well. Just to make sure this housing area here is stable. Now, this um, is... How many people? Still a thousand, so that's actually enough. Let's replace this here with the Taoist Shrine. Don't think they have any reason to complain. Uh, have. Yes, I'll just do it like this. So, unrest, yes. No reason for unrest. Let's celebrate. Let's see why not. Food, stable everywhere. Here, maybe, yeah, it's, it's okay. Stable enough, I guess. This side. Still need to find a place for our administrative city. Stone is finding its way to our monument. And did we get some more animals? Not yet. Okay. I actually think this here will just delete... that uh, for an emissary panda nice panda is good 
and I think can go to Shashia. Send oh no 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 that's invite. Send a panda to Lin An. So Chengdu, they definitely also have pandas. So why not Ping Yao? Send a gift. Oh, panda. That's good. I wish maybe here we can decorate a little bit just to fill in this gap and also have like some trees and do something like this just to make it look nice you know this year we'll see about that but this looks amazing I think actually here we could also you know give them some Tai Chi some trees that looks great I think monument is coming along and then this will look beautiful, I think. Uh, what? And uh, blah blah blah, yes. Um, we have a lot of unemployment again. Can we build more forts? No, maximum amount has been reached. Maybe we can man the towers. I will eat away some... Some... Uh, employment and here I think we can put in a city gates we do it correctly city wall and then yes, they like the panda city gates the road must come through that just to eat up some of our unemployment now we can put in some towers as unemployment 26, that's perfect. Aye, my cover is blown. I better hide and quickly. Is there still 500 people coming in? Which is actually too much, I think. Um, what is their problem? Appetizing food. Whoa, okay, food has completely run out here. Maybe we'll get some bean curds as well. Um, four animals in. I think we should still... Yes, Shasha will give us something. Pingao not too happy about the panda. Shasha gives us Gobi Bear. Very cool. So let's give Gobi Bear to... No. Keep clicking the wrong things. Gobi Bear to Guangzhou. Gobi Bear to... Jiangling, maybe? Yes, food is running out on this side, but it's just temporary, I think, because here we have some bean curds that can be picked up. And also on this side, that farms are producing more food as we speak. More stone is coming over. I'm wondering. Six stone. 
So actually I think we can stop importing stone. And speaking of stone, I think... Must take care of our gods a little bit just so they don't curse us. And also I think we have enough steel, so let's stop buying steel. Unemployment allows us to build some more. Stuff like that. And also continue the war. We cannot go right around. So let's just do that. That's as far as we can go with our war. Uh, yes, this here is a little bit a problem, but we still have unemployment and food should be come, coming in soon. We have tons of salt. I wonder why no salt we have, no bean curd, cabbage, yes, everything should sort itself out. Grateful for Gobi Bear, that's very good. I want to harvest this so we can do that. Yes, actually, with our remaining unemployment, I will also provide one more of each guilds. Employees need it, yes, that's fine. And then here, let's just have this like that. Everything is ready to finalize our our uh, what is it? Clock tower. Well, let's already start decorating a little bit. That's peach, so let's go with plum. Right in the background, everything is evolving. There's no problem. Don't worry about it. And then we will do something like this. And do imperial way. Imperial way. And That foreign emissary salamander, very nice. We can put down some statues, and then on the inside have some cherry trees, and then do something like this. Just realize it's not quite symmetrical. But let's continue that like that. Yes, and now how's the food? Yes, now food has come back in, so this all this should revolve. What's taking the hit monuments? Um, let's balance this a little bit. Happy New Year, Year of the Snake. Not celebrate while we struggle with food. This here needs a carpenter. Um, we have many weapons actually, so and these guys, yes, please come back. Um, these guys are distributing food. Market lady is grabbing more food, so... For an emissary tiger, very nice, so... Liao... 
Why don't you get a tiger? Bonjo. Why don't you get a salamander? Let's see if that helps. Now food here I think won't be a problem anymore. This here is also looking good. Our tower here will look very nice once we finish decorations. do something oh actually um, let's not connect this road and do some symmetrical private gardens like that and then Later we can just fill this, no actually we can do that right now, fill with gardens. I did that, yeah, those guilds here, they don't even bother me so much, but of course we will replace them before we win the mission. This has fully revolved spies. Don't think anyone will dare to invade us, so we'll just... Wait, is anyone working on this? Carpenters will need some more people, but it's fine. We'll see how we, what we can still do. The Yao Empire is great. Uh, it's grateful. They're not great, they hate us. So, maybe we can decorate a little bit here by providing a Tai Chi park on this side. Maybe another pond. Maybe here we can have a natural pond on this side. Maybe another private garden. Why not? There's a spy. My and then I better hide and quickly. We'll do something like this and something like that. Actually that's okay. And actually Maybe like this looks better. And yeah, it's a little bit wild this decoration, but I think it's fine. Not not that. Just wanted to delete this road. Oh, they can actually just go in like this, but it's fine. Food, yes, here is stable as well. We're pro producing quite some weapons and we don't even have ports we can fill in, so... Let's give away some weapons to the gods, why not? Um, how many people are still coming? 700... So we will have like 600 too many, which I think, I wonder if here will grow the population up to where we need it to be and we will see if we can delete those houses and put in the administrative city. I think we can, but um for the moment let's just 
Do it like that. Uh, foreign emissary alligator, cool. And vulture is the last one. So actually, I think we should get all the animals when we win this mission, no problem. We only need six. So actually, we're very close to winning. Let's save here. Every time I save, we're very close. Sometimes bad things happen. So uh, we'll see. So actually, I think I think we could definitely delete those houses here and put in the administrative city. Maybe it will fit. Let's see. That works. Government. Uh huh. Okay, so let's delete the fancy roads. Our fountain did not really appreciate it. So, um, I would want my fountain to be evolved so let's see if with a couple of trees it will evolve yes that looks very nice only thing i'm not really a fan of is this here so let's write some trees there as well they need 24 masons okay we have many masons down here, so that should be fine. And how many people are still moving in? 326, so that should actually be perfect for the amount of people we need. Just waiting a little bit for more people to move in. Vulture still hasn't come in, but I think uh, Liao Empire liked the tiger. So let's send a, uh, what was it? Alligator to Xiaxia and another spy. And Liao Empire will get two military spies just to make sure they leave us alone. And I think this is exactly the city I imagine. It's very beautiful. Shining Leaks needs silk. Let's celebrate Year of the Horse. So filled up everything. Clock tower, 15 masons just to finish. Do we still need wood? No, I think that means we can actually finish designing this. Let's quickly turn this around. And we can have a grand, no, imperial way up to our thing. Like that look at that so beautiful I think uh, our city is really what did I say in the intro um, the brightest city in the world yeah I think that's a fair statement um, how many people still moving in 32 so actually I think that, that um, is the perfect amount of houses we have right now um, market, yes, everyone seems to be happy with what they got. We're a little bit low on tea, actually, on this side. So, let's... We don't need wood here, anyways. We 
increase the amount of hemp we have here so more tea hopefully can come over and maybe if i give away some hemp of course it didn't take from here that's super annoying so um i don't know actually where it took the hemp but it's fine i hope actually we get the last my cover is blown um, six masons and actually we need more stone so here um let's get well, let's buy more stone and here accept the wood so they can go get more stone um we don't need more us don't need more steel just stone It's a very relaxing episode, I think. Oh, one house has devolved. No more appetizing food. Hopefully, um... Actually, yeah, this side here does not have that much food, it seems like. Yeah, um... Fourteen more people, so actually we need this house. Oh, that's why there's spies stealing our food. Um, yeah, now I think actually, why is Buddhism coverage not good? We don't have Buddhism here. Wonder if we could. Provide Buddhism if we replace this, maybe? Buddhist shrine. Yes, let's do that. Provide some Buddhism. Just to have excellent coverage of the gods everywhere. And I wonder. Yeah, they have everything they need. Um, for an emissary, we get a vulture, so we have all nine animals. And this here, one mason. Clock, clock tower complete. Beautiful. So, actually, look at this city. Um, we, I think, built really a marvel in China. Very happy with how this looks. Just one thing I think it'd be nice to have this house evolve. Hopefully now with this guy feeding this block. Yes. Making improvements right now. Beautiful. Really beautiful. Very happy how this looks. So, uh, I think we just have to wait until the last people move in. My cover is blown. I and hide quickly. we should win pretty much immediately after we still have tons of weapons. Let's quickly uh, give some weapons to Huang Di. Zhao Jun is also exalted. Maybe actually he will come in. Never actually think had him in the city. I, my cover is blown. Or he did one I time, I think. Quickly. Uh, there's just those houses keep running out of food. A little bit annoying. Actually, very annoying because. We cannot. And um, what god came in? Huang Di. Actually, let's dismiss him and call for Cao Jin because he will actually provide food to our city. So hopefully, he will come in and then we can send him into this block and he will. 
distribute food and then hopefully we'll stabilize these houses. I'm not sure why. It's I think it's just because they always evolve and devolve. And probably spies are stealing food from them. Trying to find a place to live in this trying to find a place to my cover is blown. I'd better hide and quickly. Yes. My cover is blown. I'd better hide and Shasha quickly. Shasha have one spy. It's a goodbye gift. Come on. Daijin, we'd like you here. Have some silk. Surely, like, we have excellent coverage of everything, so I think there's no reason why he shouldn't come. Don't know what's taking him so long. Um... Yeah, and this guy just keeps running out of food before he uh, reaches this. I wonder... Oh, because ah, Zajin is here. Where is he here? Okay, so let's have him walk over here. I think he will give food to all of those houses and evolve those houses immediately. You all know it's bad. Mmm. It is... Delicious. Yes, look at that. And now just patrol here. Give food to everyone. I'll manually have him walk around here a little bit just to make sure it doesn't leave this block. Delicious food for everyone and then I think um, there should be no problem. Uh, we can actually stop importing stone, I realize. Um, I want to say there should be no problem uh, keeping this block evolved. Go over there. Give some more food and then together with the market, hopefully uh, that should work. Because actually, yeah, the population dropped quite a bit year of the ram let's not celebrate this incredible clock tower given precise time by day and night probably proclaims the unquestioned genius of our people um, in case you didn't know this clock tower actually I think existed I don't think it exists anymore but in Kaifeng um, there was this guy who they were talking about, um, Su Song, real person, I think, um, maybe China's Da Vinci, if I'm not mistaken, um, who designed and built this clock tower. Never been in Kaifeng, but maybe when uh, China or the world finally opens up again for travel. I might go, who knows, now that we built such an amazing city, we'll see if it's as nice as we can. Although I must say at the moment, I don't really want to go to China because I don't want to get stuck in one of those lockdowns. Like at the time of filming this episode, they are in lockdown for like almost two months in Shanghai. So no real interest in a being stuck there so uh, yeah but once the world is completely normal again I, I, I hope to go back I, I, my cover is blown I better hide and quickly now one more person and we win finally yes and yeah let's quickly fly over our beautiful city again 
and uh, I think that was a huge success, exactly how I wanted it to turn out. One and a half hours, not even, to build it. I think I'm very proud of how this ended up. Nothing to complain, also all the nine animals in... No, 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 uh, one house evolved so annoying. I was already uh, celebrating. Let's have this touching guy. I think it's just Spy stealing everything. See here also Aye. as well. My cover is blown. I'd better hide and quickly. You all know it's better to give than to receive, especially to me. Uh, I mean, to your government. So actually, I will just have Aye. Cao Jin cover is blown. walk back and quickly. forth here and provide food and I can also keep an eye on this side. What is going on? Okay, so spies shortly before we win are messing with us, it seems like. I mean, it's not really a problem, but... I mean, what? How can there be... Oh, well, there's two wood in our trading station, but that makes sense. Um, my question is, why are there only that many spies in this housing block? And not in the other one. But um I'm just keeping an eye on this. Wait for people to move in and then hopefully with my technique. It's a little bit cheesy, but I mean these gods have those properties, so why not use them? We need twelve people. We have space for 22 so um, hopefully um, as soon as people move in we can win see this guy it's just because we don't have an inspector I think draught it's definitely a scripted event. Gods are very happy. It's a spy. Aye. My cover is blown. I'd better hide and quickly. Just have him walk back and forth to constantly put food in those houses. I think now. We just stay here to see if spies are walking around. Over here is still stable enough. And here, yes, this has re-imported and there's people moving in here. Hopefully the last ones. And... Um, Let's see. One person needs to move in. And then we should win. So let's be very careful. See if no spies are spinning. Yes, we won. You have built Kaifeng into a shining beacon for the world to see all of the glories of the Song Dynasty. Nowhere in the world is there a city such as Kaifeng. Only here is scholarship so highly respected. Only in Kaifeng do the sciences and the arts reign supreme. Even the beasts of the land, sea, and air occupy a special place near and dear to our emperor's heart. Right, so a little bit awkward in the end. It took five minutes longer than it should have because of the spies, because this last block didn't have an inspector because we did want this uh, Taoist shrine to provide excellent access to other religions. But I think this city turned out very beautifully. I think in this last dynasty, they keep getting better and better. So um, yeah, let's quickly look at the score. I didn't notice how much money we have. So um, yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.